Okay, so this is just a real short video, and uh, just meant to kind of highlight two different things here. Um, we have uh, basically two different types of models here. We have one with um, imported into the Unreal Editor without binormal and tangent data uh, using FBX 2013, and the other model that is imported with um, binormal and tangent data. Uh, well, the one that's not imported with binormal and tangent data, we've had we've gone ahead and let Unreal interpret interpret um, what the tangency is. And this is how it does it. It's not so great. If you look at the model, um, I mean, it looks somewhat okay. And if if you were using you know another engine and a different kind of workflow, um, both of these share the same exact properties. The only difference between these two right here is that uh, this one actually has the correct uh, y axis, by the way, uh, which I'll go over in just a second. So uh, looking again at the uh, binormal and tangency of the of the model these share the same exact FBX settings. So, as you can see, like I say, there is kind of like these strange swirl marks. This is a flat surface back here, or up here, in the front side of the car. And you can see it kind of does a weird thing with the normal map where it's, it's since our edges are all softened, except for where we have seams, you know, which is a normal kind of uh, workflow for, for game art, uh, we have really strange swirl marks in places that we shouldn't like this right here this should not this is a flat surface you know for the most part right here this is all flat this shouldn't be kind of warping out and doing all kinds of denty looking things um you know in a lot of cases up until you know not too long ago this was uh, almost an acceptable normal map this was kind of to be expected um but now um when you export an fbx with uh binormal and tangent data you can uh fix and correct a lot of those errors in the normal maps so we end up with a lot cleaner looking normal maps basically this is just a flat surface this is you see the difference here uh, we'll look again at the front side there there are no swirl marks that that flat part of the front interior there is reading flat just like it should so uh, there are no more kind of dented and funny looking areas of uh, of the model where the normal map has been applied so everything is is being interpreted perfectly and corrections are being made where um, the normal reading uh, is is uh, the way that it's relative to the model. Um, the FBX or that that binormal and tangent uh, data that comes with the FBX uh, reads and compares the normal map versus the normals of the geometry, and makes corrections where it needs to make corrections to give the most accurate representation of the normal map. So that's what's happening there, and that's why it's so much nicer to have uh, kind of this stuff. Now, there may be a problem um, with Blender being able to export that data. But that's something that we can, uh, when, we, when we, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. If if that's something that we need to kind of adjust fire on, we'll, we'll fix that. Uh, and also, just real quick, um, I wanted to show <laughs> kind of the problem that we were having a little bit earlier uh, with the wrong, uh, the wrong, uh, the, the an inverted Y when you're baking out for normal maps. That's this here. Uh, this right here is a seam. Uh, kind of relay the UVs out and put a seam in a more uh, conspicuous place just to be able to kind of troubleshoot what was happening. And uh, that's all it was. was It was just an inverted uh, Y from X normal. So just make sure that the uh, that your Y axis is actually the negative Y axis uh, when you're baking out normals from X normal. And that's it. Thanks for watching.